progress. Okay. Hopefully you heard what I said earlier, in case you didn't. We last covered Etablis Mentum, Franz Karuk, up here. So the next one we're going to cover is Group Bruxelles Lambert Essay. Okay, let me search for that. Okay. So, Group Bruxelles Lambert, GBL. Let's see. They're an established investment holding company with over 60 years of stock exchange listing. So, I'm going to write that down too. Investment holding company. Hmm. All right, the thing I want to figure out is who runs the company, who are the faces behind the company. So look for executive management right here. Who are you? What's your expertise? What's your background? What's your experience? How many years have you been doing your job? So we have Ian Galleon, CEO. Okay. Okay. So, began his career in Spain, born in, in France, and he's Belgian. Okay. Xavier Lycan, Chief Financial Officer, and Priscilla Matchers, General Secretary and Chief Legal Officer. Okay. All right, decent. So next, let's try to find the listed assets are Adidas, GA, Holson, Pymers, Ontex, Pernod Ricard, SGS, and Umacore. Oh, let's just skim board of directors really quickly. She was on that. Right. Ian Galleon, CEO. We just saw him. Segaline Galleon, Fair Director. Okay. Looks good. Claude Genero, Alexandra Soto. Okay, that looks really professional. And next, let's look at uh, quarterly reports. So, annual and half reports, so that's good enough. Let's look at 2022. Oh, zip. Uh, let's use viewer. Okay. 
All right, let's just go through this as fast as we can. It's probably really long because they're a good company. So, can't full screen. All right, so okay, I'll just scroll. So, deliver. Oh, hold on. It's updating. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? While that's loading, interesting thing that's happened. The USA played the Netherlands in the Women's World Cup, and they tied 1-1. A goal was scored by Lindsay Horan for the United States, and Jill Roard scored for the Dutch. Uh, Ronnie James. Okay, here we go. Try Let's see. That didn't really help, but that's okay. Uh, go back up. That's yeah, better. All right. So, GBL, Group, Group Sales Lambert SA, Investment Holding Company. And I can already tell this is a professional report, so they did a good job delivering meaningful growth. All right. I'm just going to skim through. Okay, hold on. I wasn't expecting that. Let me go to downloads. Okay, that won't work. All right. I'll just try to work with this. This is kind of hard to do. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. Delivering meaningful growth. So this looks like it is, let's see, it's over a 150 pages, so I'm not going to take too much time with it. I'll just skim over what they offer. We do strength from our values and convictions in order to make progress on our strategic priorities. Okay. And this is Paul de Marseille, or Paul de Marais Jr., excuse me. Okay, decent. This is the guy, one of the gentlemen we saw earlier. I think he's the CEO. Yeah, CEO of GPL. Okay. All right, finally the numbers. So net asset value per share is for a year, I was 116.18. When we saw them earlier on Right here, there are 73.96. Hopefully, this is in euros, but I'm not too sure. So, active asset rotation, listed assets, private assets. Okay. Ranked number one out of 44 investment holding companies by Moody's. A, Moody's is a credit reporting agency. All right. Mm. 
Yeah, detailed pictures look really good. Looks like they literally came out of another world, but I'm not too sure. Corporate governance. All right, I'm going to see who's on here. All right, decent. Composition, one, 13 members, 12 non-executive. Independent directors, 31%. Average age, 58.5 years. And the average length of mandate is 10.7 years. Okay. Mostly men run it. Okay. Okay. I really don't know if I want to go through all 150 pages, so I might go through the first however many I can get through and then look at the rest of the website. Okay. Okay. You won't see me go up again. All right. Presentation of the group, net asset value. Okay. So net asset value per share, it peaked and then you had chaos in the market from whatever disaster. So that brought it down quite a bit or some other reason, I don't know. Okay. So listed assets, so they own Again, they're an investment holding company, so they own Pernard Ricard, SGS, Adidas, Umacord, Holcom GA, Maui Ontax, Total Energies, and Adidas I'm familiar with. Total Energies, I think, is an energy company, and Adidas is a German sportswear company. Okay. So you have the stock prices in euros. And in Euro million, I guess that's their, that might be their net, oh, no asset value. Okay, good. And then private assets are WebHelp, Mephidia, Synoptis, Canyon, Paquis, Runidos, and Voodoo. Just for context, uh, let's see what Pernard Ricard is. I haven't heard of that one before. Pernard Ricard, French pasties company, best known for its anise flavored pasties, apertis, pernanis, and Ricard pasties. And the world's second largest wine and spirits. So they sound like a agribusiness company. All right. Okay. And I'm not going to read, I'm just going to skim to the rest, look at the pictures and stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah, the board of directors, we looked at this on the website earlier. Mari, Mini, and Christian Van. Dilo. Paul De Mares Jr. and Gerard Frere. Ian Gallien, CEO. Antoinette Des Abremont Linden, Director. To I want to go fast, but I don't want to go too fast and disrespect anything. So I probably am going to 
cut it short uh, after we see numbers one more time. Okay. Uh, corporate governance. Audit committee. Okay. What page are we going on? 43? Okay. I'll, I'll just skim through the rest. I'll skip a little bit. But I'll try to look at everything. So let's see. Can I get back to... All right. Risk managing internal control. Folio review. Portfolio management strategy. All right. Uh, I want to look at this. What's this? So you see Adidas, SGS, Bernard Ricard. All right. Now I'm going down. Imeris, Umicore, Holson. Since we're here, I wanted to look at like at least the top five of the ones we don't know. So I'll start with uh, Imeris. Imeris. French multinational company. Industrial materials. So processing and production. Okay. And then another one was Synoptis, which is ophthalmology network, applicants for innovative and modern ophthalmology. So medical. Okay. And then we also had SGS, Swiss multinational company headquartered in Geneva which provides inspection, verification, testing, and certification services. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna close it there. Okay, I think I did close it. Okay, now here we are. All right. Uh, wholesome, and then we'll look up one more. We'll look up Yumicor. So, Wholesome Building Materials Company and Yumicor Belgian Mining Company. Okay, let's do one more just so we can say we did five. If I closed it, I'm going to be really sad. I want to go back. I think I did. Let me try to bring it back up. Okay. Yeah, I did close it. All right, we're back. Uh, okay, and then let's make a... Let me go to page 55. Hope this doesn't take too long. 
All right, yeah, they got loaded quickly. All right. I'm not going to pick up where you left off. I'll just skim through the rest. But we got through about like a third of it. Yeah. If it doesn't load up in the next 10 seconds, we'll just look at the rest of the website. Okay, that's as long as I'm willing to wait, so we'll look at the rest of the website. But that seemed like a decent presentation. High quality and professional, lots of information. So, uh, let's see what else is good to look at. So we looked at the board of directors, executive management, their quarterly report. Uh, let's just see what they have to offer. So sustainability, GBL Act, and ESG glossary. Uh, I think I'll go to sustainability. If not, I would have went to corporate governance. So again, they're just an investment holding company. So they own a little bit or they own uh, bigger companies such as agribusiness, mining, industrial production and more, but I haven't seeked. They also own Adidas and Synoptis, so they're in medical and healthcare and such. So they have their ESG commitments for each company that they own or hold. And let's just pick uh, let's, what sounds interesting. Looked at Umicore, uh, something I picked yet. So GEA. Okay, so engineering for a better world. So they have, what do they have downloads? Let's skip to the bottom first. There's uh, sponsored with CDP, Gold, 22 Ecovetus, MSCI, which is Morgan Stanley, CI something, corporate ESG performance, sustain analytics, and FTSE for good, for good. And then downloads. Let's see what they have for downloads. So they have their sustainability report. Uh, we can we can skim through the first one, and then I'll end the lecture. 176 pages, so let's just try to go through as much as we can get. Okay. And this is for uh, GA. Oh, so this is from their actual company. This isn't, doesn't have anything to do with them. Then I'll go a little bit faster then. Okay. So separation and flow technology division. Yeah. Okay. That's how good that picture looks. That's a really good looking picture. I like to go through these reports sometimes just to look at the pictures because they have the most beautiful pictures. Okay. All right, everything looks good here. Yeah, I don't want to go too fast and just disrespect it, but it's a lot to go through, so I'll probably uh, try to like 
see what's at the bottom and then finish it. Okay, without going up. Okay, good. Yeah, this one looks really detailed. I always wonder who has the time or who do they pay to like make these reports all day. That must be a really demanding job. Okay. All right. Well, I'll skip to the bottom and see what they ended it with. Okay. Looks really good. And then I'm going to end this video right here. So I'll pick up with another company from other stock market index. I don't know which one. If you have a suggestion, you can let email me or let me know. But for now, uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.